hey welcome back to my channel so in this video i wanted to show you guys two very simple easy inexpensive ways to update your chain metal fence i could not believe how inexpensive and easy this was i was able to do it in one weekend and it made a huge difference with the gate i could not believe it so many compliments from my neighbors and everything so i'll show you guys the first option and then we'll get over to the second option Hey guys, so what I wanted to do today is give my fence a little uplift. So as you can see, I have like a rusted fence and I really wanted to just spray paint it black just to, you know, make it look a little bit better. I'm going to fix the fence over here. As you can see, it's kind of leaning. So I'm just gonna get some wire to fix that but guys as you can see it seriously needs an uplift i think it'll look so much better. i love this view so much and this ugly fence is just ruining the view so what i'm going to use until i replace this fence because i eventually want to get a wood fence this rust-oleum paint primer which is flat it bonds to wood, metal, plastic, and more. Now, typically people would get <clears throat> not the flat, but the semi-gloss, but I had this stuff in my garage already. I have a few bottles that I wasn't using and I just wanna put it to use. All right, guys, let's see how it feels. So I'm going to just shake it. I suggest you guys maybe use like goggles and a mask because the wind might blow the spray back to you but let's see here you just want to do a long stroke you can always come back to do another coat because you're going to have to do another coat anyway but you just don't want it to look runny you want it to be nice and flat and smooth. So far I used about five cans. So this project is costing me less than $30 so far. I think what I want to do for the actual gate net is maybe get some outside paint and just use like a roller to go ahead and paint the inside of the gate too. You would totally waste your money if you try to spray paint the net, even though spray painting is easier, but the spray paint is just gonna go through this net. So it's best to just use roller paint. It's a lot cheaper, I would say. Hey guys, so it's day two. I let the first coat dry of the spray paint. It doesn't look too bad, honestly. So I personally think that the gate looks good on its own. As you can see, I only spray painted um, the top rail and the bottom. I didn't paint the, um, I guess you call it the mesh or the net yet. You can totally leave it as is. It doesn't look bad. It's kind of like that silver black look. However, me personally, I want the entire gate to be black. So I'm going to take it a little bit further. All right guys, so right now I have the Rust-Oleum High Performance Protective Enable Oil Blaze. It's good for metal. So I'm going to use that and I got the gloss black. So guys, like a little paint can and this roller. 
I wanted to show you guys an update. So I'm pretty much almost done with the fence. Almost the entire time I've been using a roller. And then I decided to use a paintbrush. And honestly, I can say that this process has been a lot better because with the paintbrush, you can get through the grooves of the chain. It's a lot more easier. So as you can see, like I'm fully like covering the entire chain versus using the roller where you have to go this way, then you have to go that way. This is just a lot easier. So just wanted to add that tip in there. All right, guys, so it's been like a week now <laughs> and I haven't uploaded and updated you guys, but this is the final product, guys. I'm super excited. My neighbors are even like complimenting me. So it looks great. Um, like I said, it's been a week, so it's been raining and everything and it's been holding up pretty well. So I'm pretty satisfied with it. And I wanted to mention too, I only did one coat. Um, I didn't really feel like doing a second coat and I didn't think that it needed it. But yeah, it looks good. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the other fencing. So stay tuned for that as well. Alright guys, so as you can see, I currently have a chain metal fence, which is okay. However, I just wanted something that looked a little bit better and gave me more privacy. I didn't want to pay someone to come and install a wood fence because I don't plan on living here that long. So I thought that this was a good solution. So this fence came from Home Depot. It was $79 and it's a bamboo fence and it's six feet tall and eight feet long. And I think for this project, I needed about five and a half rolls. And I thought that this made a huge difference. It even looks better from the street. So I love it. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just attaching it to my current metal fence with zip ties. So what you guys see in my hand right now is a bolt cutter and I'm just using that to cut the wire that the bamboo sticks are attached to. I'm just trying to measure the bamboo fence to the end of the existing metal fence so that way it's not overlapping. What I'm doing now is just using the wire pliers to bend the wire so that way the bamboo sticks don't come unraveled. So right here I have a four pack of LED solar deck lights from Menards, it was $24.99. Although it was meant for the deck, I needed it because it has a flat surface and I'm just using a zip tie and attaching it to the bamboo fence. Alright, so I'm finally done and here's how it looks. I'm extremely excited with the outcome. I couldn't believe that I was able to do this by myself and it was so inexpensive. I also wanted to show you guys like a quick sneak peek of my backyard. If you haven't seen that tour already, please go take a look at it and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe guys.